Back, it's a public holiday. Right. Right. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to take your hands off on your mountain bike. So I'm going to be showing you how to do tuck no handers which is where you tuck the bike up and throw your hands yeah. off. So let's get into it. So what you're going to need first when yep. you want to do this trick, you're going to need a helmet, don't really care if it's a full face helmet or not, and some shoes because otherwise you're broke. <laughs> And then you're gonna need to get yourself a bike. So this is step one. Let's get into step two. All right guys, so once you've got all kitted up and ready to try this trick, what you're gonna do is a pickup tuck no hander. No, just kidding. You're not doing that, but um. What, what, so what if you show yourself... them? What if you show them get laying down where you lay yeah, down yeah, in the yeah, grass? Yeah, 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 I'll do that. Well, yeah, I reckon. Oh my god, that was so bad. He, he so needs these... to relearn them. Yeah, so these guys are gonna be showing you theirs throughout the no. video, they're not going to be showing you if they keep yelling. Anyway, um, you need to find yourself a nice jump, maybe a fly out, that's usually the easiest. A tabletop's good, and if you really are confident and stuff, you could use a gap, as long as you're comfortable on the jump. And um, so, what you can do, apparently, Zach thinks this is good, I hate doing this, but... What are we doing this? Oh man. <laughs> 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 Why don't I do it? Because I can actually hold my bike up. Stop. Pretend you're in that jump position. Then you tuck your bike in and throw your hands yeah! up. And I recommend... So cool. You can it's just pick up to do it and jump straight up. <laughs> it's recommended, guys, to grip your frame just here with your knees. Just like that. Zoom in on this side. Yeah, zoom in on his dana. Zoom in on his dana, guys. So. Like that, and then you throw your hands off, Yo. and you'll get a bit more control. Or you can just throw them Pers off when you're doing a jump, and you're doing a flap around like a pass. Personally, I don't do that. I don't get the seat, because I yeah. didn't learn that way. But that could actually grip his dad off. But I do recommend doing that, because that's the best. That's always like a good way. It's a lot more safe and secure if you can grip it. But I just throw it in and take the hands off. And now let's go to a jump. Damn, that floor was looking nice. Yeah, All right. floor. So now, you got your commitment up, you've practiced that on the ground, and we're on stage three. And get off. prepared. <laughs> and, um, oh You're already prepared, that was step one. And we're gonna try just tucking on the jump and see how you can go by just doing little tucks. I'll do it up there, then get me going around and going out of here. Oh, the best out of the best. Right, so that's just a simple demonstration of the regular little tuck things that, that you can so do. Bad. That's the, yeah, those are like the tucks you can do. So stage four, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll write it down when I'm editing. So now Zach's gonna get over to the jump there, and I'm gonna start throwing my hands off. The first thing you wanna do when you're on the jump is so get a bit further away, Zach. So she's distancing and practice that. So oh, you can just do little tucks no. and then just start throwing oh, hands off just, nice. just little, bit, ah, no, little no. bits at a time. Like oh, no. start with little hand movements. Yeah, like jazz, like hands, jazz, jazz hands, jazz hands. Jazz hands, yeah, jazz yeah, hands. Jazz, jazz hands. hands. Show us a jazz hand. Pass. Yeah, that's a jazz yeah, hand. Yeah, and then do them a bit bigger each time and stuff. You could be in like pass. What the heck one? That's my arm's literally the biggest pass, he just ran away. This this tutorial's for Blake Campbell over there. Go away. Go away. Okay, you're gonna tuck my hand off. And then you can start. That was a little one, now you can start throwing them off more each time. I'm just gonna go full now because I don't really want to just get gradually get bigger, I'll just do mine. And you guys can do it as big as you need to. So let's get this one. Shut up, Boyd. Yo, so that's one on the fly out now. Zach, get over there. That one, and I'll do that to Gus. Okay. We're getting a bit of line. Yeah. Yeah, alright. So the one problem with these for me is my brake lever. 
So, and sometimes it's like awful. And just, yeah, make sure you can get used to knowing where your bars are once your hands are up, which is what doing smaller ones is good for. It gets you used to the little ones, to know where your hands are. And then also, I've got some nice wide grips and my, I've got some nice wide grips and my brake lever's moved in pretty far. So um, that makes it a lot easier because I can sort of catch it there. And it's, yeah, it's a lot easier. So I'll get one more cleaned up, one on that. And then maybe some clips of everyone else trying them. And then... I hope this, you found this video helpful and now you can do tuck the hands or you're one step closer to landing them. But um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Go out. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the funny thing is in days. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs>